Hey guys, this is Gitari at Gitari Track Chronicles. Uh, another day, uh, blessing day. It's on Saturday here. We are blessed to be alive and kicking. So guys, I'm coming to you to just, uh, you know, keep uh, talking with you and letting you know how things are. And today I just wanted us to talk about um, a topic of interest. And that is uh, how, to, uh, how to make money and to keep money you know make money and keep money you know sometimes it's easy to keep to make money but it's hard to keep money you know over a period of time i've come to learn uh, as young people we tend to assume that this money will be forthcoming throughout our lives and we forget to uh, smartly invest or even smartly save and today i just thought about it it's a topic uh, that has been, you know, in my mind. And I never knew the best time to do it. So I said, ah, let me do it right now. So the today's topic is how to keep money after you make money. Because everybody wants to make money. And different. there are so different ways of making money. You can be self-employed, you know, entrepreneur. You can be employed or you can have investments or all these kinds of things. But at the end of the day, the net result is money. So at the end of the day, when you make that money, how then do you keep it? What are the smart moves that you make to be, uh, you know, to have the resilience of time and all the turbulences that come within that period of time? Because at the end of the day, things will not be a straight line or it will not be an upward curve in terms of making money. If you have a portfolio, that means that there will be challenges, economic challenges, political challenges, family and other safe issues that come in between and your money move up and down depending on the issues that are coming forth. So today I would like us to discuss or talk about briefly on how to make sure you keep your money or you you invest your money in proper areas so that when that money is needed to help you advance a certain cause then you'll be in a good place or in a good situation to do that effectively so first i would like to welcome you guys to my channel if you haven't sub subscribed please sub uh, subscribe if you have not shared this video you can share with a friend or even comment down down below and also you know like uh the videos that are of interest to you so guys again you're welcome to this platform so uh first and foremost when you when you make money in whichever form you need to have a plan ahead you have to have uh, a, a already set plan or an on, ongoing activity so that when you get this money you transfer it to that place or you transfer it to those places that you have already established uh, prior to getting the money so what am i trying to say here for example if you have a small project if you have a small land that you intend to buy you can pay a, a little bit of money on it so that that land is on it's a, like pending so whenever you make a little bit a, a little bit of money you will always pay towards that property so you'll have a focused goal to keeping that money in that project so that's a one way of keeping your money because one thing for sure what i've come to learn and i i don't know how many people will agree with me uh, on the comment section that keeping money on saving like in your bank account is a tricky situation because so many things come in and you cannot have money and sacrifice yourself for example if you have a thousand dollars or you have a thousand shillings in your bank and you're hungry the tendency is you you look at that one thousand and you see it is going to serve you to solve that problem as immediately but you can go without a meal for even an hour or a day if you have five thousand in your bank so but if you didn't have that money it's going towards a, a debt that you're paying towards a property you will tend to say you know what i can go without this meal today so that i pay that debt because you die you can go without a two if you take three meals you can go without two in a day or one and that money goes towards that property so is a form of saving just by having a property that is not fully paid you pay as you go it helps you take this money that you're making on this side and pay towards that property as a form of saving that is one two you can have like a, 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 a society or a cooperative where whichever amount of money you make you make a, a you make like a commitment 
eh, to that to that society or circle whereby they will be getting the money before you get it so you tell them you know you tell your employer i want you to put this money towards shareholders you know these societies have shares so you buy like one share or two or three depending on how much you make vis-a-vis -vis how much how much a share is then you talk to the company and the, or the society and the company you're working for or if you are self-employed you plan within your check that whenever you get that money before you touch that money a certain amount goes there immediately because the moment that money comes to you the tendency to give it out it becomes a problem because you already have pending issues so the best thing is before even you receive that money a certain amount that you feel that you can afford to keep consistently giving it goes towards that and there's money where you forget about it so that is the money you keep in those societies so you throw there like a blindsided tip you throw like 200 shillings 500 shillings within a year you'll be surprised how much money you'll have so that's another way of making sure that you keep your money me today i'm not talking about making money let's assume you we all know how to make money but now we are trying to see things we can do to keep this money with ourselves so we have talked about getting some money away from us before even we receive it and then the other way is having like uh, groups these women group men group all kinds of groups whereby like pyramids where you have trusty trusted friends where you go around putting money so you make sure that you have like 10 people we have been doing that for the last four years with a group where we put 200 dollars so what happens is it's a cycle so we are like 10 or 20 people you do a cycle so within that cycle before it comes to you that money you have put almost 2000 in there so you've been saving for like six months before you touch that money yourself so that is a form of saving and then when you touch that money remember we had a property that we were, we are in debt so we were paying bigs and pieces so the moment you get this money it goes to pay that part of that property so it is a cycle of making sure that your money is somewhere where you cannot touch it because the tendency to misuse cash is when you have the control of that money so that is the point we are trying to avoid today not to have so much money in control because that's the same way we're going to have so many problems to solve so the more money you have the more problems you have the less money you have on your hands the less problems you have because if you don't have money you don't have any problems to solve so you tend to stay away from all those expenditures because you can't afford them so that's the point we are trying to say for the sake of our youth and our all those days in the future we are trying to keep as much as we can but not in our banks because that tendency of keeping money in the bank results in misuse and you know impasse buying and all kinds of things and looking for problems left and right so the other way we can do this in terms of saving is having a project like a rental back home or in kenya or anywhere else in nigeria or in europe or you can buy mortgage you can you can buy house here in america whichever way but a property what does that mean these properties you have to pay for them let's say if you are you are built you are mortgaging yourself you have to pay for this property a month so that is it so you are in you you put yourself in such a position that whenever you get this money it has to go there because you need to come to pay to you know to to meet your commitments in terms of those mortgages and etc so the other thing is if you're building a house you know you have these phases phase one phase two phase three phase four whoever have done building he knows how that is done so whenever you get a little money you put towards the project so you'll never have excess of money in your hands because what we are trying to avoid as uh, in as young people is not to have too much money that you tend to think this is going to happen be like that for the rest of your life you're going to have fun you're going to use this money carelessly but a time will come that this money will no longer be there and you realize that you, your friends that you thought you had they will disappear on you and secondly you will not have money to spend so you get frustrated and that ends up not good for you so so in this channel we were just trying to highlight a few things that one as a young person can do to hide his youth for the future use you know what i mean don't misuse your youth when you are productive when you are resilient when you are aggressive when you can do different different money bringing activities and all you do is whenever you get that money 
you use it to entertain people and make friends and marry and when all is said and done you look back and you see the opportunities you lost so what we are saying is have projects have debt have 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 this mortgage have these things eh? so that whenever you get this money you have something that you're paying towards you have these groupings have these that so that what you want to avoid is to have just the minimum in your for yourself so another thing is buying shares if you can have put a portfolio where you can put shares you buy shares stocks bonds and all that so you know you 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 link with your bank whereby you'll be buying all these shares bonds and everything so you are able at all given time some little money goes there and eventually this money immatures down the road and the money you're gonna use it for your own good as a as a, a man of age you know when you are hitting 45 50 60 there when you are you are in, your ability to make money is a bit low when you need to relax yourself you can be so aggressive or you can be pushing yourself so hard so those are the times you start picking these resources that you put aside when you are young so my my viewers uh these are some of just the hints but a few that as a person you need to put your money in areas where you know for a certain that you're gonna reap the benefit it may be low premiums but at least you are certain of it don't gamble with your money don't gamble with your money don't put your money where you're not sure with because sooner or later when you lose that money you'll be frustrated because it's so hard to make money but so easy to lose money so ladies and gentlemen that was just but a video that i thought we should do today if you like it comment down below and also share uh but guys as i said uh, earlier on uh, i'll not be doing more of i'll be trying to do some few trips here and there but uh much of the time i'll also be doing these sit down co uh, commentaries so please if you have ideas of how i can improve in this area or other uh, other issues that i can talk about guys I'm, I'm open to all your comments to grow this channel because at the end of the day you are the audience is what you want i'll give it to you as you like it if you have the ability to do it god bless you and see you later